Hello everyone, uh, welcome again to Riverbank Art Centre. My name is Marta Golubowska and I'm a visual artist living and working here in Kildare. Uh, I mostly work with clay but the big part of my practice is working with people and sharing my knowledge and passion for art with them. Uh, today we're going to be making haunted house lumps and for this you'll need a jar uh, you might pick up a big one, larger one, because then you'll have more area to decorate. Uh, we'll need sellotape, uh, see-through sellotape, uh, pencil, scissors. Uh, we'll need, I have a tracing paper here, but if you don't have tracing paper, you can, you can get a parchment baking paper, equally good. And then, uh, black paper. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we're going to start with measuring enough of, see, uh, enough of uh, transparent paper to cover my whole jar. So for that purpose I'm going to fold the paper. I'll need about this much. So you basically need enough to you need enough to cover the side of your jar. Uh, I'm gonna fold it well and then just cut it. I'll do the same with the, with the black paper. I just want to have enough to make my drawings on it. Because I'm working with the roll, I'll just, I just want to cut a piece out so it's easier for me to, to draw on it. Um, no. Straighten it up a little bit. Oh, here we go. And now you just need to uh, draw shapes. Um, so imagine that you're walking at night. Uh, you can see lights coming out of the buildings and you'll, you'll see outlines of buildings and imagine that scenery and try to create your own like that. So I'll start with drawing little house. Now I'm using a pencil on a black paper, but because the pencil is silver color, uh, I can see it. If you have white crayon, you can also use it. Then I'm going to make a little fence beside it. It doesn't really matter how far distance your particular pieces of your drawing are from each other because you're going to cut them separate anyway. Uh, I'd like to m put a little cat walking on my fence, so we're going to draw a shape of the cat again and it'll be kind of a spooky cat. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm going to draw an outline of the ghost. Um, maybe like a shed. So I have enough, I don't have enough room here, so I'm going to turn my drawing upside down and just work on this side. I don't know. I think that's that's all I have. I'll have room for. So now we're gonna start cutting.
So these are all my shapes done. Now I want to stick them on this transfer paper or parchment baking paper if you have one of these. Uh, let me just measure how much. So this is a little bit too little. So I have a, a little bit longer piece prepared here. Okay. So you could use a glue stick for this, but I find that the glue sometimes um, makes the paper um, warping. So I like to just stick everything with the sellotape. And this is what I'm going to do. So I will prepare pieces of salad tape for myself and stick them on the side or so I'll start with the house which basically I'm just catching the house with the salad tape and sticking it down then I'm gonna do the same thing with the fence Okay, and when this all is ready, we're going to wrap it around the jar. And Stick it with the another piece of stick it with another piece of salad tape. So as you can see, this is the final product and this, the light goes through the jar and it reveals your uh, design inside. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, join us again next time uh, when we'll be making Guatemalan kites. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Marta Golubowska. And be sure to check Riverbank IE for more events like this one. And happy Halloween, everybody!